and what is going on YouTube just another game channel bringing you just another video so guys um, it's a garden games and I bought on and I'm like damn it because I've just bought a new TV uh, a new 4k TV and I just bought a new Cal, uh, Cal digital well it's it's a it's an it's a anyway it's a hub for my computer I'm like so I just spent 700 quid and I'm like damn I was hoping that the armor would be shit, but I quite like the armor, so I bought the armor. So this is the Whisper Vic, Whisper Victory set for the Hunter, and so we will uh, have a quick look at this. And I bought all three: uh, Titan, Hunter, and Warlock. And I'm doing each one of those now. So I've not been on for a while, guys. I, I was really ill for about five days. Like just, I managed to get some sleep for. I got about three or four hours, and I woke up with temperature, and then like within ten minutes, I was vomiting. So I was like, ah. Then I tidied my room and thought I'd screwed up my cables on my Elgato. It wasn't working, but it turns out I just got one of my PS4 setting, PS5 settings incorrect. So anyway, I'm back. During that time, I did record some armor videos, and then I can't now. I can't find them, <laughs> so I'm way behind with armor videos. I apologize. But this is the set, guys. The the uh, I think it's called the Whisper of Victor set, Victory set, or something like that. So I'll quick look. Um, Where is it? There it is. Whisper of Victory. Yeah, so Whisper of Victory Masters. Whisper of Victory armor set. And uh, I think it looks damn cool. I like the... Uh, well, well, we'll go into it, but I definitely like the... Uh, the Illuminations. The, uh, I think it looks really cool. Anyway, yeah. Face Mask. Vanguard symbol. Yeah, Vanguard Guardian Games. Um, what I like about this is like you know, just a solid faceplate. And I really like the shader. This is the new. This is with no shader applied. This is neutral. Um, yeah, I really like it. So I got a sort of bronzy gold twinge to it. Um, slightly silver as well in there on reflections. Um, I mean, there's not much you can say about it. I just I think it's cool. It's pretty simple. You've got your nice uh, luminous aura coming from the, the helmet. You got the mouthpiece, so to speak. In the sides, that's pretty cool. And you got just on the hood as well, just a little uh, trim on the hood. Looks pretty damn cool. There's not much I can say about it, guys. It's it's really simple, and uh, obviously the hunters are difficult as well because you have got the hood covering a lot of the stuff. So look at the arms um, again. Oh, I'm on set. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, again, look asymmetrical. I like this, even though it's not a vast difference. Like you've got the armor on this side, and then you've got no shoulder plate on this side. Isn't that interesting? Um, again, it's always because you know, in 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 ancient times, in ancient times, uh, if you were fighting and you 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 were right-handed with your blade, you'd be say you had a two-handed sword. Your left side would be facing the enemy, so that'd be more armored, and then you'd swing in with the strength from your right arm. Uh, usually, so that's usually why the left side's more more armored. And I like that they've taken that out, took that over into a lot of the arm sets. Um, Again, again, it's just pretty straightforward. It's like a generic hunter set with cool logos, and uh, you got the Guardian Games there. You got the Vanguard on the helmet. You got the Amulon set to show the entire thing is. Now, is it sponsored by Amulon or is it a, an Amulon set? That'd be interesting. Is it like a sports set that's sponsored by it? Um, only problem I have with this logo is it's a little bit too like the Olympics, which I I know they did that on purpose, obviously, to to, to illustrate the games aspect of the content but still um still a bit don't like but i love yeah i love how the, the the illumination runs down there that's cool uh over the over the uh side of the arms there and all the way down to the wrist actually if we go back to the arms check out the wrists see it's just a little very subtle isn't it and i think that's why it works so well so it's really subtle uh, legs Again, pretty straightforward. We've got that trim coming down the inner groin and inner leg, and then on the shins. Um, oh, come on, get off there. Okay. Pretty straightforward boots. Um, yeah, there's not much I can say. I just really like the colour, though. I've got I just something about this. Just look. Is that not a cool colour? It's like a black. It's not quite black. It's like black with oil in, in like mixed in, like an oil. Like white, black oily water. I don't. I can't really put my finger on it, but something like that. And then we've got the cloak. Again, um, 
really subtle, but I love the I love the the illuminations that have been put in there. I think that really works. Trim of the helmet, back back neck of the uh, of the hunter, and then down down the bottom of the cloak, just on the out just on the trim on the outside of the cloak as well. Everything just brings it in, doesn't it? It's really cool. So anyway, tried to make that bit a bit quicker than normal, uh, so we can get into the shaders. No idea how this is going to work out. On the, on something like this, but we'll have a look. Let's have a look. Wow, that is sorry. That's it. That the problem is with the shader system. Like it's the, the lighting's too much. You need to bring the reflection down about ten percent because that really hurts my eyes. Uh, it's, that is anyone else like having to glare away at that? Oh, that's cool though. Oh, that looks wicked. Yeah, I like that. Still, I'm squinting though. Red jet. Damn, that's. Ah, that's impressive. I, I mean, it's too red. I think it looks cool. It looks cool in its own way. It's just uh, it's hard to put my finger on why it's too much. I think it's a bit too much. Heat shielded. That's not bad. It's that sort of white. Do you think the darker colours or the lighter colours go better, guys? What do you think? That's not bad. Like so they've put like a silver. The entire thing becomes silver. The the, the armor set itself. It's like silver metal. Rather than like that. Ah, interesting. Oh, that's cool. See, like these shaders that normally look terrible because of this new trim they've got on the illum the illuminations. It looks really cool. The neon like aspects of it. So then you've got shaders that might not have worked, but just transforms it. Oh, that's not bad. I like the orange you see, the black and orange. Wish there wasn't that I wish there wasn't that creamy white colour, that that's a shame. But still that looks I think that looks really cool. Um Trying to randomly pick. I know I'll end up going to the ones that I normally like, but I'm trying to See that's quite nice. The, that's like I think it's nice because it's no, no one ever uses like a, the, the copper colour is quite nice. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that because I don't like I like the the neon aspect of it, the illuminations. Ooh. Yeah, that white with that lime green, like so, it's quite nice actually. It's just a bit too much. Maybe it's not as bad in, in game. As it is here, but when I look at stuff here, it's just too much. It's too bright. I, I keep thinking, right, imagine if you're in Gambit, uh, or sorry, in Crucible, and you're wearing stuff like bright stuff like this. That could have that could have been better. If that cloak was a dark black, and the material was dark black, I would have worn that. That's a nice applied red, though. That the, the shade of red is really nicely applied on that. Because these shaders, they change, they change depending on the material that the armor's made from. Alright, oh, I'm gonna just, so what? Okay. Okay, um. Trying to go for ones that I don't normally go for. See if we can get a nice colour. So the orange is nice, the orange yellow, but the, the black grey is a bit too grey, it's a bit too worn out. Oh, look at that bad boy. That looks hella cool. That looks really cool. Has he got a gambit sign? Is that the gambit sign on the back? Is that gambit? No, I don't think so. Just reminds me of a gambit symbol for some reason. See, that's a really cool white. I mean, that's just an awesome white. It just looks fantastic. You know? I mean, that that also... See, that looks really good, but it's, like, so bright. And that looks really good. And you get more definition. See, I, I don't... I wouldn't even know where to start. I, I really don't. Some of these shaders, I want to wear these, like, cool white ones. But I just... in Again, in this... 
view view it. It's too too much. It's too bright. That looks cool. That looks really cool. It's the purple neon that does it for me. Some of those neon colors are so cool that I totally forget how bad the actual uh, shade color is underneath. Because it's so cool. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, that's that one. Wow. I was not. Look at that. Look at the. Look, oh, no. Look at the shader, right? It's like a, a blue, a, a toxic green, a black, and a brown. And you get that out of it. I mean, that is hella cool. You would not expect that from that, would you? Alright, that looks terrible. This used to be my favourite shader, but because I love the burgundy. But the metal, I don't like the scuffed metal look. I don't like the damaged, sort of broken metal look. It's the only thing I don't like. That looks quite nice, actually. That doesn't look bad at all. Okay, is that a similar version of that? This one's, this one's, I need to remember that one. Balsol Toxic. Now I'm like, do I try ones that look terrible? Because they might bring out a really cool. I mean, I like that pink. I really like that pink. I like, I like that on a lot of shit. I'm, it's just too, too much pink. It's too pink. It's too. I don't know. Not girly. I don't know more about that. But it is a little bit girly. <laughs> it's just overly girly. You know what I mean? But that's like a cool color. That's just an awesome color. And that is cool as well. Again, I don't know. I don't know if it's because I'm viewing it from the monitor, or you guys are getting the same like, illumination. But man, that's painful in the eyes. Like, I always have to squint when I do shaders when I do these videos. Gambit Chrome. Well, that's that looks all right. Yeah, that looks pretty cool actually. I like this brown. I like the texture of it. Have you seen look? It looks like crumbly chocolate. Something about this that I really like. I like it on the uh, the Avarice set from the dungeon, the new dungeon that came out with their thirtieth anniversary. Traditional Vanguard. Don't like the green. I don't know why they went with green there. That doesn't make any sense as a, as an illumination. Seems a bit odd the green. Let's look at the Iron Banner ones. No, I don't want it, does it? Ugh. It's very orange, and I like the orange, but it's not quite right. You've got the, the Mad Monk carbon fiber type thing. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I like that Baltic one. I think that's really cool. Oh, color selected. That white is so nice. There's a couple with pure white like that, that looks so good. Oh, look at the gold. Man, you got to be flexing to wear that, haven't you? <laughs> Gift of nine again, that, that beautiful white. Like, it's great. I'm getting into the more generic dead orbits and like different planetary ones now. Um, I've always liked this shade. There's something about it. It's a bit too 70s. So I don't use it very often, but there's something about the checkered different beiges and greys and orange. I really like that. Um, just a bit too 70s for me. Again, talk about 70s. Damn. Um, there's a couple that were bought. These do these ones. These work out really good on certain shaders. Most of them. Most this one, dark fluorescence. They works really good on about three armor sets. I can't remember which three. Um, anyway, I've just got your normal crappy stuff here, guys. I don't know what I don't know what you think, guys. Um, what your favourite shader is? Um, there's a couple there to choose from, but it looks so good in its original, don't you think? Hey, hey, tell me, tell me I'm right, tell me I'm right. Let me know in the comments, guys, what your favourite shader is. Let me know what you want applying, and um, depending on the list, I'll I'll apply those. I'll have a close look at those on the Titan and the uh, the Warlock version. But anyway, um, yes, that's the Whisper of Victory set. Uh, from the uh, the Guardian Games guys thanks so much for watching feel free to like and subscribe and I will see you all on the next one so cheers